I have here the uh, Nexteon display, it's a TFT touch, there's four pins out, uh, SD card on the back, this is the enhanced display, 3.5 inches, um, and uh, red is 5 volts, black is ground, and I've got two wires for transmit and receive, and those, these have been wired up to uh, the Bluetooth um, uh, pins that I'm using, which are D10, uh, D11. Um, the Nexion display comes with this little adapter to provide power to the device using USB. I'm using it for testing. And I've also connected the ground of the uh, TXT device uh, to ground of the Arduino. And so this is an Arduino uh, DRV8825 uh, controller. Um, uh, hooked up to a NEMA 17 stepper motor and um, the first thing we really need to do is we need to program um, the TFT chip um, display and I have a little um, micro SD card and I've copied the TFT file onto there I'm going to put it into the uh, slot like that I have got a um, this is a 5 volt USB power device I'm just going to connect this up like this, um, and uh, there's a display message on here. I'm not sure whether you'll be able to see it correctly, probably not because of the brightness and stuff involved, but it's saying it's copying and it's up to 38%. It'll get up to 100% and then it will um, reboot. So you have to program this device with the uh, correct uh, software first. 98-99% uh, it's rebooted everything successful so then we take power off we remove the TFT uh, we remove the SD card um, and I'll put that to one side so the controller I've already programmed with a modified version of the uh, 277 software version and uh, so that's all go um, and I've got 12 volts applied to it as well so um, if we power on now the TFT display, the Nexteon display, let's do that. You can see it's, yeah. here we go, All right. So you can see that uh, we've got a display here. We've got get, and if I press get, it will come up and it, it has updated the firmware. Uh, the revision is 277, the firmware file is MyFocuser Pro 2, DRV 8825, Hardware 203, and uh, 8, uh, sorry, 8, uh, sorry, NX48, etc. for the TFT. I'm at 5971. Um, so let's go to the move. So this is the move, and I have a number of buttons here to move. And I can press 100, and it goes 100 steps. Let's go to some of the settings. So I've got coil power on, I've got motor speed fast, let's go to slow and let's go to half steps and go back to move. Um, so it's on full steps and it's on slow speed, so we uh, we would, uh, if I go 100, away the motor goes. Uh, this says moving, not moving. Um, and currently the position is 6271. So if I click in the box here, and I use the keypad, I can type like 4805, okay, and I've now got a choice to set the, set the um, uh, focus of position by pressing the set button or pressing the go button to go to that position, so we'll press, um, obviously triggered the set command, so let's just try that again, let's go like one, Deletes one, two, three, four. Okay, go. Oh, there we go. Sometimes the, the uh, touch buttons are a bit fiddly, but it's going to position one, two, uh, three, four. When it gets there, it'll stop. It's currently moving. I can, of course, halt it. And if I um, yeah, it's at position 1839 at the moment. So if I go home, 
uh, this updates to position 1839. So I can set maximum steps as well by pressing max steps and using the set button. I can control the coil power, the motor speed. Let's go to fast. Um, and I control the step mode as well. Uh, I've got backlash settings. I've got motor speed change. Um, I've got step size, enable, disable, set. Temperature compensation, the same delay after move. And I've got other features associated with the Nexteon display as well. So um, at the moment, um, it's set to motor speed fast. So move and let's go 100 steps. And you can see the motor here move. And if I set the motor speed to slow and then go back to move and go 100 steps, this, as you can see now, moves slower. So everything appears to be working. Um, there's one of two more revisions need need to happen to this uh, particular software, but it is currently usable.